Shalom. I want to start off by giving all honor, praises, glory to Yahweh by Shemiel Shai, by Hashem Rakar Kodash. Double honors to our elders and apostles for teaching us the truth of this Bible. And Shalom to all you brothers that's bringing this word out. Yeah, man. Jake just wanted to uh, go into this topic, you know, the spirit. No, basically, envy and not the oppressor, man. You know? Well, we're in the time now that our oppressor, you know, you so-called white people, you know, and these heathen, these other heathen nations, you know, they're all going down, man. You know? And said these curses are, are, are hitting them right now. And it's, it's truly evident, man. You know? So what, uh... What reason would you have to uh, to to envy somebody that's going down, man? You know, this is uh, Proverbs three and thirty one. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. God, you know what some of these these uh, some of these Edomites ways, man? You know, because you know Jake sees uh, Esau might be doing doing good, you know. You know, might have a, a, a big, bigger house than them. You no, know, Jake might stay in an apartment. You know, they might have a, a, a certain car, you know, that, that Jake want, you know. But it's, it's, it's like, what is that, what is that profit, man? You know, all this, all this stuff's going to be burnt up real soon. What is any of that profit, you know? This is a Proverbs 3:31. Envy thou not the oppressor, choose none of his ways. You know, and what, what is what is you know his ways? You know, you know, uh, uh, just uh, work, work. You know, the uh, all day. You know, whatever he had, whatever Esau has, you know that he does has that uh, that's expensive. You know, he got to work more in order to maintain it. You know. Yeah, uh, let's see, it's a lot. Yo, he gotta work more to maintain what it, what uh, what good he does. I mean, what uh, are the expensive things that he does have? You no. Know? This is uh, I want to go to the next one. This is a uh, Sarat nine and eleven. Envy not the glory of a sinner, for thou knowest not what shall be his end. Come, you know, the only people that can actually sin, you know, is these is uh, our people. You know, Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. You know, because most is not dealing with these other nations. You know, but Esau, Esau, you know, still our people envy Esau. You know, that for what he has. You know, our people envy. Uh, Esau for being in the power seat, you know, for having uh, the rulership right now. You know, our people are, are, are uh, you know, says still voting, you know. They they envy that Esau uh, can, can uh, bring his people into office. You know, our people think just because they vote a so-called black person or or a so-called Latino person, you know, that uh. That they'll start to see a change, you know. That they'll start flourishing, you know. But uh, like I said they're 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 losing their power seat right now, man. You know. It says uh, envy not the glory of a sinner, for thou knowest not what shall be his end. Cause so, you know, just like in a uh, Ecclesiastes eight and eleven, we're probably gonna get that in a minute. You know, you see in these uh. Seeing our people that are doing good, you know, they gotta they gotta do all kind of uh, sick stuff to get this money, man. You know, these uh, rappers or whatever, these uh, NFL, and NBA players, they gotta do all kind of sick stuff, you know, to get this money. You know, right now it looks like oh they're they're doing good, you know. It's just that front they put on. It looks like they're doing good. You know, but the scriptures actually say, you know, to 
to whom despise wisdom, you know, is actually miserable. So, you know, they, uh, uh, what's it called, uh, our people, you know, who don't have the wisdom, you know, they're, they're actually miserable. You know, they, though they might have all that money, you know, the, uh, what is it called, uh, Esau, you know damn well, he, he despises wisdom. With the real wisdom, you know, the most high. No, you know, he, hey, Esau, Esau ain't doing too damn good. You know, Esau, uh, smiling like he's all happy. But he, they see this, this, uh, this, uh, stock market and stuff going down on the daily, you know. Stores closing left and right. They see this place going down. That's why they have those, uh, doomsday preppers. They're prepping. <laughs> They're prepping, you know, as if they really uh, have a shot to uh, to, to uh, be safe in the in the time of trouble, you know. They they know they actually know that there's a day of trouble coming, you know. A lot of these Edomites. This is uh, delight not in the thing that the ungodly have pleasure in, but remember they shall not go unpunished unto their grave. God. There's another script I can't uh, think of for the bad where it is, where basically, where it basically says uh, every man will be according uh, judge according to their works, you know. So you know all these all our people, you know that's uh, out here selling their soul to, to get this this fame, this money. You no, know, y'all watch me. Shot is going to going to uh, judge them according to their works, you know. It's not going to be a, a, a beautiful thing, you know, because it's like I said, if they if they uh, continue to live, you know, and they take this chip, they're really going to be judged, you know, by this, this nuclear fire. Let me see, I was going to get, uh, Ecclesiastes 8, because it said, you know, thou know, knows not what shall be his end, you know. Envying somebody because they have some uh, a lot right now, they're about to lose it real soon. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 8 and 11 because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore, the hearts of the sons of men is fully setting them to do evil. God, so you know, Jake sees that he uh, he could sell his soul, or whatever you know. Hey, it's like it's Kashi 6 9. He could sell his soul, you know. He could uh, sleep with other dudes, uh, females. You know, he can be prideful as all hell. He didn't see judgment come in speedily, you know. It was fully set in, in him and all the other Israelites to to uh to just do whatever the hell they they want, you know. Just be, be prideful, you know. Flaunt everything they got. You know, show it off. You know, like I said, showing off, uh, sleeping with somebody else's female. It's fully set in them to, to, uh, to do that wicked shit, man. You know? But now, hey, now even with him, you know, he's, he's getting his judgment. You know, he's, uh, locked up right now. So he's catching his judgment, you know? Uh, the other two thirds of Israel's uh, judgment is not far away either. You know, just right around the corner. Like I said, uh, without knows not what should be his end. You know, if you envying these damn uh, somebody who got money right now, these damn devils or whatever who got money, you not you must not know their their end, man. Their end is going to be uh. It's all out destruction, man. You know? So let me see. Uh, um, let's go Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, the strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. God. You no, know, because the fear of the Lord is, is the beginning of knowledge. And then the, the wisdom and knowledge, that's what's going to uh, keep you stable in these times to come. Not not no damn money, you know. 
and say, you see these, you, uh, I said, thou should not know uh, what shall be his end, you know, once all hell breaks loose, they, ain't, they don't have the knowledge, the wisdom and understanding, you know, they're going to get demolished out here, they don't have the most high on their side, on their side, you know, this, uh, this word is what's going to save you, and in the end, you know, so we see, uh, so Proverbs 11 and 4 Riches profited not in the day of wrath But righteousness delivereth from death God. So in the day it is this wrath man You know you over here envying what the next man got And say so he might be looking like he's doing good right now But you know it's in, in this time to come That's, that's not going to uh, deliver you You know Say so you see with these fires over here, you know everything. Uh, it, it uh, goes back to that Matthew six. Basically, you know, uh, everything here pretty much is uh, not only temporary, but can be burnt up. You know, but your treasures in heaven can't be. But uh, this is a uh, Proverbs eleven and four. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from death. Guys, you know, you envy what the next man got. It look like he's doing good. But uh, his his riches is not going to save him in this time to come. I just read, you know, the wisdom, knowledge, and uh, understanding should be the stability of thy times. You know, and honestly, he ain't, obviously, he ain't got that. You know, and, uh, so, so his word is what's going to be profitable in those times, man. You know, righteousness, you know, doing this, doing this work. You know, that's, that's what's going to deliver from death, man. Let me see, uh. This is uh, Hebrews 13 and 14. For here we have no continuous city, but we seek one to come. Gosh, you know, like Micah 2 and 10 says, to rise ye and depart, you know, out of this place uh, mentally and spiritually. You know, rise your mind up out of that. Uh, oh, I got to get, uh, I got to get a uh, uh, NBA, NFL type of money. You know, rise yourself up out of that that spirit, man. You know, we don't, cause this we don't have no continuous city. This this place about to be destroyed soon, man. And good and good for it. You know, we're not looking for a, a to build a kingdom here, man. You know, we're looking for this shit to get torn down. Man, it's, like it says getting torn down as we speak, man. You know, you see uh well, I think it's according to a. Uh, uh, Isaiah 14 and 11, you know, the worms shall cover thee. You see all these, uh, you see it all everywhere, these, uh, just buildings, uh, caving in. You know, you have bridges caving in. You know, and like I said, that fire. These fires, you know. Every year, these, these fires over here in California get, get a lot worse. Who are willing, you know, uh, uh that earthquake, that, that horrible earthquake comes next this coming year you know or lord willing even before this year is over so uh, yeah we have no continuous city here man oh we're looking for the the the, the kingdom man and the kingdom's the kingdom's gonna be forever you know forever now you can't even uh you can't really even think of that on this side you know forever so let's uh, finish it off with this here is uh, <clears throat> you no, know, because if you envy Esau, you know, his little uh, short time in the rule, you know, is about up. In Sirach 18 to 10, as a drop of water unto the sea and a gravel stone in comparison of the sin, so are a thousand years to the days of eternity. Ah, so Esau has been only ruling a little over 500 years, you know, half of that uh, thousand years. 
you know so you compare just a little uh, a thousand years to the days of eternity you know i said as a drop of water unto the sea you think of a little a little small drop of water compared to a whole big huge sea you know or a little gravel stone you know in comparison to the whole whole sand you know you can't number you can't number that all that sand you can't number all that water you know just like you can't uh, number the days of eternity you know so if that's what a, a, how a small a thousand years is compared to the days of eternity you know think of how smaller 500 years is to the days of eternity man you know so you know it's, it's, it was in my spirit to uh, bring that out you know envy not the oppressor you know because this, this time is about up you know and what he uh what he's had you know can't compare to what we about to have in the kingdom man so uh you know get your mind spiritually mentally out of this place man you know and look forward to the kingdom man why do y'all by Shimel Shai for putting the Holy Spirit on me to Crawford I should do this lesson double honors to our elders and apostles for teaching us the truth of this Bible and Shalom to all you brothers bringing this word out Shalom